It's been five years since these murders rocked Ohio. Now, Tanya is hoping to express her sorrow to the son of a man her father killed. I'm nervous about meeting Nick. The more I hear, you know, about his father, the more anger I'm gonna feel that my dad did this. I'm on my way to meet with Tanya Beasley, whose case really hits home to me because we're both daughters of serial killers. Family members of killers are often reluctant to speak publicly, but Tanya reached out to me to share what she knows about her father's crimes. You can come on in. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate you being open to meeting with me and to tell me your story. You know, it's really rare that I meet another daughter of a serial killer. I mean, we're in a really small club, you know, a club you don't want to be in. Right. At the time, I wasn't 18. I didn't want my name out there. I didn't want anybody to know because I was extremely ashamed. A girl posted on her social media site, oh my god, I can't believe a serial killer's daughter went to my school. I was in so much danger. You know, I know people don't automatically start evil, that there's a side of them that was once good. Tell me about your dad. So my dad was born in kind of a rough household. His dad was very verbally and physically abusive. He was an alcoholic. So instead of focusing on his home life, my dad applied himself towards school. As a teenager, smooth-talking Richard finds he has a gift for persuading others. I once heard a story about how in high school he was talking about a Christian friend of his, saying that those are the people you want to have as friends because they can vouch for you if you ever need it or get in trouble. He was using the people around him to make himself look better, even back then. 